YouTube, it's Jen and Brad, and we are here for our week 51 post-op lap band update. And as always, let's start with the numbers. Sorry, my little cat's going by. Okay, I am five foot four inches tall. I started the weight loss journey on December 5th, um, was the two-week pre-op diet. I started at 262 pounds. December 19th, I had my surgery. Um, I'd lost 10 pounds, so I started the surgery at 252. Last week I was 179.6, and this week I am 178.2, which is a 1.4 pound loss for the week. Um, but really, <laughs> last week I was up 0.8, so it's really like a 0.6 loss over two weeks, for a total loss of 83.8 pounds. I'm sorry, I'm looking at my notes. Very nice. Six feet tall, starting at 320. Last week I was 222. This week I'm 221.6 for a 0.4 loss, and a total of 98.4 pounds. 98.4. That's what I said. You just kind of slurred it. Oh, 98.40 pounds. But I've been gaining and losing the same three and a half pounds for the past month and a half, two months, so. It hasn't been that long. It's you been You are so ridiculous. close. It is not. It's been like three weeks. But uh, we got our fills last week. I'm exercising again. So I want to lose 1.6. Six buy our next weigh-in to make 100 pounds on the year. Yes. So that's my plan. Yes, next week is our surge anniversary. We did, last week was our journey anniversary, which is where we committed to the weight loss. Next week is one year since our surgery. So, um, many of you have been asking, what is a wombat? <laughs> I didn't realize I got this much interest. I have people message me. I have, I've had all sorts of questions. Uh, it, uh, a wombat is a marsupial. So That really didn't help us. Kangaroos and platypuses are also marsupials. Um, it's like a little bat. No, it's not. Oh, okay. uh, it is like a big, adorable, koala-looking thing. And why is it your spirit animal? I don't know. It just came to me. Because I'm in a big, adorable, pan koala looking thing also, I guess. <laughs> but don't mess with the wombat. It'll bite your face off. Really? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you want to talk about? Because I got things I want to talk about. You go first. go first. Okay. Number one. On our last video, I don't know if it was the week 50 or if it was the anniversary video, but I talked about clothes and being afraid to give my fat clothes away. And then I got a little bit of heat from Texas Danielle. <laughs> and that heat was seconded by Shelly and the band. Um, and so I have done a introductory... The fattest of the fat clothes I have taken out of the closet. I gave some to family members, and I have the rest ready to give to either my doctor's office or Goodwill. So, by the end of the year, I mean just okay. whatever December thirty first. No, no, no. I don't just need to be by lawyer. the end of the year because <laughs> we're either I'm either going to give it to Doctor Jesse on December thirty first, or I'll give it to Goodwill, Goodwill before then. Okay, perfect. But this very much scares me, but. On one hand, it scares me because we've lost weight before and gained it all back, plus friends. But on the other hand, it's a little bit freeing because this, these clothes represent... I hated the clothes because I hated the way I felt when I wore the clothes. So it is a little bit freeing to give them away and be like, I don't need those as part of my life anymore. Yeah. So, however, if I gain all the way back, I'm going to come back and be like, what the f did I do? How many times am I going to lose weight and throw the clothes away? So we, we will find out. Hopefully this will be a good decision and not yes. a bad decision. I know it will be. I hope so. On a NSV for today, went to CrossFit. Um, the class that I'm in is, uh, like, there's these two high school kids, and the one of them is in pretty good shape. And, like, he's 16. Like, he's young. And he normally kicks my ass and everything. But, oh, my God, today... We did the whole workout, and at the end of the workout was a mile run, and like a quarter mile in, he's like huffing and puffing, and he can't run, and his friend clearly couldn't do it. And I'm looking at him, I'm like, guys, I could be your mother, plus I have 40 extra pounds on me. Get your asses running. And like, I totally outran them, so I felt really good that I could kick little kids' butts. So. <laughs> you gotta take your NSVs where you can get them. So, do you have anything you want to talk about? I'm just listening. I'm okay, well, I wanna, I'm sorry, I have things I want to talk no, about. No, go for it. On the anniversary video, I talked about um, not being accountable, and, or not tracking. My big flaw, my big thing I need to work on is tracking. And 
Um, I went back, started on Monday using my fitness pal. I will put my information down below. I made my diary public because I need to be accountable and I need people to see. So number one, do not judge me because sometimes for dinner I will have two quest bars because my Because you're ridiculous. I'm not necessarily nutritionally balanced, but I'm not really as concerned about that. I'm trying to keep track of more of the calories. Um and sometimes, sometimes we will go out somewhere and you can't find the food in the my fitness pal and I will like pick the highest calorie something and I'll just put in like a thousand calories. So do not assume if you're looking at my stuff that I'm like a crazy person eating, you know, a thousand calories for dinner. But sometimes if I can't find the exact thing, I will estimate really high. So I'm opening my fitness pal up to everybody, which is like bearing my soul to be judged. It's very hard for me. Throwing away the fat clothes and going on my fitness pal with public diary. Yes. Two things that I'm just like, screw it. I Jen's eat. comment to me on that was, wow. People can see everything I eat. I'm like, yes, that's the I purpose know, of it. I know, that makes me very <laughs> uncomfortable. But it's very important to track. Mm -hmm. And I think that I not only need to track, I need to make my diary public so therefore people will know if I'm tracking. Because for me just to say i got to track, if, if my diary's not public, then y'all can just assume I'm tracking. Whereas here now, you can all check on me and be like, bitch, what you doing? What you not doing? Why are you not tracking? And I don't track my water in there because I always get my water in. I don't track my exercise in there because I track it elsewhere. Um, and you don't need to track vitamins in there. Yeah. I'm, I definitely have water, vitamins, and exercise down. Without a doubt. I'll vouch for that. Yes. So we just got to get the tracking down. And actually, since I've been tracking, my calories have been in check. There you go. Because I'm like, do I want to eat that? Do I want to report to all of YouTube that I had two Quest Bars for a snack today instead of one Quest Bar? No, I don't. And I won't lie in my tracking, that's one thing, there's no sense doing that. Do you want to say anything? I don't have much new to report. Nothing? Not really. Um, got my doctor's visit next Tuesday for my shoulder. Yes. And we'll see what's going on there. And, uh, I don't know, just getting my practice runs in for our 5K. Yeah, tonight, because I had to do the, it was a mile run before the workout and then a mile run at the end of the workout. And the mile run at the beginning of the workout, so it was the first thing I did, so I had no reason to be tired. I'm like, oh crap. That's one mile. We gotta do 3.12. Yep. I'm freaking gonna die. But at least we'll be really colorful while we do it. Yes. So. I'm gonna try to run so fast I outrun the color. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> what else? Nikki Hona liked our anniversary video and she wanted the questions. Oh, that's questions. right. Send out the questions. I did. I, t I Facebooked them to her. Okay. Anybody else? I'd love to hear your, your um, I should probably post on, I'll go back to the anniversary video and I'll post oh. the questions that we asked and I'd love to hear everybody's answers to those questions. And I wrote them real quickly and I didn't think about them, but clearly one of the questions, actually, I don't know Um. One of the things, though, that I didn't talk about on there was how grateful I am for the support of all you guys. And I really, I didn't mention it, but I want you all to know, you guys, I've That's said it before. That's actually one of the answers. Was it? No, you said you didn't like reporting to people when you gained. Or did you talk about mm -hmm. loving people? Yeah. Well, I love you all, and you all are seriously my therapy every morning on the way to work and every evening on my way home from work. Like, literally, this journey has been for me not just diet and exercise, but a, a total mental counseling. And you guys have been just been wonderful for me. And I hope that even though I suck at commenting, <laughs> I suck at participating, well, you suck too. I know, I'm not much of a commenter. I suck at commenting, I suck at participating in groups, I in, in the WhatsApp groups, I suck. But I love you guys, and even though I'm not there and I guess it's selfish of me not to be commenting I really I, I love watching y'all's videos every one of you it's just wonderful to watch you guys and you guys inspire me and I'm just thank you I guess that's what I wanted to say sounds good to me you got anything to add it's just I feel like it's always me talking and they don't want to hear true. me they're here for you no they, they deal with me so they can get the little nugget from you no I've got nothing right now Nothing. Nothing. Sorry, I've been yawning a lot. I don't know why I'm so tired. But, uh, I'm good. Okay, well then I guess this one will be short. I need to shower. I am disgusting. She stinks. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so 
sorry. I come right in from it's CrossFit okay. and I oh. ate something which I need to go put in my fitness pal. Yep. And then I need to shower. I'm so fucking tired. Okay, YouTube. I love you all. I don't have shout outs because I'm too tired. And we hope you have a wonderful week. We hope you all are big, big losers. And thank you all for being such a wonderful support system. Take care, everybody. Sleepy time. <laughs>